What up? Easy Overdose here. Going to show you how to set up DX Tori today. It's a Fraps alternative. Um, it's better than Fraps in a lot of ways. I am using Fraps to record this right now. And the reason is Fraps lets you record desktop. DX Tori only records a DirectX application. So if it's like a game or a DirectX window, like movie editing or something, DX Tori only records that. So you cannot record desktop with DX Tori as far as I know. So there'd be no way to make a video like this with DX Tori. You can only record a gameplay full screen with DX Tori. So first thing you do is go over to your folder, click the plus, add a folder, makes a folder like this. Click this little RPM gauge to benchmark it. Click a run. Do it a couple times. See what it hits. Um, I can't do it right now. I'm recording to the drive that I'm doing to. It'd be a terrible number. And then you click OK. So you have your write speed set. And then you set your start stop movie capture button that you want to use to you know hit the button to toggle off recording and not recording and then here is your movie window this is the important window so for me I like to include the mouse cursor in my movies uh, file format AVI pretty sure it's default you can set the frame rates that you want to record to if you wanted to record higher than 30 for some reason you can set your scaling of your screen resolution so 100% is going to be whatever resolution you're running at. It's going to record pixel for pixel. Now, you can change the codecs on uh, DxTory. And I found the DxTory video codec, the default one, is the best one. But you want to click this button here, and you might need to change this. Okay, if you have a 7200 RPM... Um, SATA drive and it has about 100 megabyte read write speed you will, and, and you're playing from the drive that you're recording to which isn't recommended by like anywhere you look up everywhere says oh use the second drive but you can do it I do it all the time it's not that big a deal you just can't have a lot of shit running in the background but you'll need to change this from either RGB or high quality down to medium. Otherwise, if you put it on on high, you need about you need a second hard drive that's not doing anything but being recorded to, or you need a RAID setup because you need probably about 120, 130 to 150 uh, megabytes write speed to be able to handle the high quality without frame drop. And RGB is lossless uh, quality recording and you need probably 200 megabytes of write speed to record RGB so you pretty much have to be in RAID format to uh, record RGB and you know that can get expensive because you need two drives in RAID uh, you know there's 200 bucks or so and then you need a hard drive that you're recording to or you're playing from so then you're looking at like 300 bucks for three hard drives versus if you're just trying to you know get by with what you got and you got one hard drive and it's okay it's not a crappy hard drive a slow one then uh, you know this will work medium quality so you got all that stuff set you can set your you can set your uh, sound here I want the first one I mean, you can set these up either way. First one, set it to your speakers. I use the PCM codec. And down here, the way I do this is I come down here to my sound options. And then you go to your speakers. And then you go to advanced. And whatever you have this set on, you want to have that set on. And actually, it's not set the same. Cause I was messing with it. I'm on a fresh uh, 
install of Windows. So change that, make them match. And then the second one is for your microphone. So if you want to record yourself. And then you would just, you know, have this checked if you wanted to record yourself. And then the same deal with that one. You go to your microphone, advanced, and then whatever you have this set at, if you if you have this option, then you make this match up. And then that's for pictures. And then here's the advanced tab. Uh, this right here, enable synchronous surface lock. That means that it dedicates more of the GPU and the CPU towards not dropping frames. So you might drop a frame on your screen while you're recording and you're like, oh, that video's going to have a spot in it. It might not have a spot in it if you have this checked. It might be you got that little that little bit of lag, a little bit of frame drop because this was on and you know it stalled up your game just to make sure the video didn't get that spot. And then your processing threads. Usually you want to set this to as many as you as you can. And uh, let's jump back here for a second. You got synchronized video frame per second. And what that means is if you're recording to 30 frames a second, that will make your gameplay 30 frames a second. If you have this unchecked and you get like 100 frames a second, you'll see 100 frames a second on your screen, but it'll only record 30. And I found if you have this unchecked and you get higher frames per second than you actually record, that you just leave this unchecked and it makes a smoother video. So that is uh, my settings and a little guide to get DX Toy set up, get you recording if you weren't already. Uh, hopefully recording at, at higher res. If you set this uh, compression up here to medium, you can record in 1080p. I record at uh, 1920 by 1200. And like I said, I use, for the most part, I use the same drive that I'm playing from. Uh, and a lot depends on the game on that. Because some games don't do a lot of like uh, reading, continuous reading from the hard drive. If you get games like that, for an example, like Warcraft, it, it doesn't read a lot from the hard drive. Just kind of like during loading screens, you know, you can you can use this all day and it works fine. But another game I found that, that didn't like this was uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. It seemed like it continuously read from the hard drive. So whenever you'd record, I mean, you'd lose. 20 frames a second whenever you'd hit record even with it like this um, and, a, and a note for this if you think you need to put it on low quality because you're not getting the frames per second that you want uh, you need to just change the resolution and you can do that right here you either click size and you set this number to your resolution so if you wanted to do 720 you'd put 1280 by 720 and now this would record at 720p. Or, if you were at like 1080 or uh, 1200 like I am, you can just set the percentage to 75%. And 75% of 1920 by 1200 is like, and it's like 1440 by 900 something, something around there. So it's more than 720p. And uh, I, I was doing that on my old computer with um, an old hard drive before I figured out this trick with the compression. So I could probably have used it like this on my old computer, my old hard drive, and it would have worked. So just gotta just gotta play around in the menus and know what's there. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.